In this video, I'm gonna walk through the proper procedure to purge your orifice. So this procedure should be followed anytime that you do something like change orifice in the cutting head, change your on-off valve, change seals on your pump, uh, put in a new high pressure line. Basically anytime that you break that high pressure circuit, uh, you introduce air into the system. And if you don't purge that air out of lines, you risk blowing your orifice very quickly. And there's nothing worse than a blown orifice. I know I've experienced that myself several times. Talked to my doctor uh, and he's explained what I can do about that. So in this video, we'll walk through the, uh, the way to properly purge your orifice and we'll do it with our Iku software here. And then we'll also do it with our Move software. Just the buttons are a little bit different, but the concept remains the same. Okay, so we're gonna pretend here that I just finished changing out my orifice, put a new orifice in there. And so first thing I'll do is I'll go ahead and open up my hand valve here. So it's good to close that hand valve if you're gonna be working on the, uh, on the cutting head. And then once you've got that open, I also like to disconnect the abrasive inlet line. There's a potential depending on which pump you have and the settings on that pump that when you start the pump in low pressure with the cutting head open, that when it's first ramping up the pressure, you might get a little bit of water coming out of this abrasive inlet. And so to avoid that getting inside my abrasive tube and getting that wet, I'm just gonna disconnect that and we'll connect that up later. Cutting heads down relatively close to the top surface of the water, far enough off where I can see the quality of the stream and judge that. And we should be good here at the cutting head. Now we'll go to the, the controller. Okay, so here we are at the uh, Kulu software. So you can do this with either the hardware buttons on the front of the controller or the software buttons, whichever you prefer. I'm gonna use the software buttons for ease of showing this. So I just tap down here, lower right hand corner, go into jog controls. So of course this head and this machine, we've got two cutting heads, head one, head two. I just replaced the orifice on head one. So we're gonna do this. So first thing I've gotten in the habit of always doing is first of all, for the head that you're working on, hit the water manual button. So that's gonna lift that little needle off of the seat uh, above the orifice and that's gonna allow water to go through the cutting head. And then put the pump in low pressure. And generally I like having my low pressure set in the 10 to 15,000 PSI range. And then pump on. And the pump will spool up and then we'll start getting water coming out of the cutting head. So if the stream looks good at this point, which hopefully it should at low pressure, good idea. Just toggle that water on and off a few times, four or five times. And then when you're ready to go to low pressure, key thing here is just leave that water manual button on and then put the pump in high pressure and then slowly gonna ramp up. So some people have made the analogy that this is similar to bleeding the air out of your brake lines after you do a brake job. So it's a good analogy. And then again, once it's up to high pressure, you can toggle it on and off a few times, check for any leaks on the system. If things look good, you can turn off water manual and you're good to go. Okay, so now we'll look at the same procedure here on our Move software. So we'll be focusing in the, uh, the top left-hand corner for this. So similar, basically the same procedure as the uh, Akulu software, just uh, buttons are in a little bit different location. So first of all up here, if you tap on the little arrow next to outputs, little pop-up menu, you want to be on the manual tab and we want to hit our water manual button for the head that we're working on. In this case, head one, there's only one head. And then again, we want to go low pressure on the pump and then turn the pump on. And again, I've got my low pressure on this pump set around 15,000 PSI. So it's running, water looks good so far. On and off a few times. 
No leaks. Should hope there's no leaks at 15,000 PSI. When you're ready to go high pressure, leave that water manual button on so the cutting head is open. Tap on the low pressure button so it goes gray, which puts the pump in a high pressure. Ramps up to full pressure. And then when she's at high pressure, again, tap water on and off a few times. Looking at the quality of the stream, making sure there's no leaks. Things look good. Again, can run a little bit of abrasive. Make sure that that's flowing well. I always like to turn the abrasive button off first, let that get all the abrasive out of the line, and then water off, and then you are good to go. So then you can do your auto water and abrasive buttons, and we are good to cut. So if you have any questions on that, let us know. Thanks.